I just get scared. What are you scared about? I'm scared of living life to the full. Bucket list life, mate. Oh. I'm like a giant baby. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm not happy about it. I'm gonna beat these guys. We all have our bucket list. A lot of people have bucket lists. And we're all gonna choose items from our bucket list each episode to determine what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. Does that make sense? To me, it makes total sense. It makes sense to me. Yeah. It's a good format. I don't understand. Behold the bucket list. Emma, pick something on your bucket list that you really, really, really want to do. I want to do everything on here. No, but what, oh. like a top, a top okay. one. I'm going to say drive a tank and specifically run a car over with a yes. tank. Yes. Crush it. Theme of this episode then, vehicles. Oh. All right. We're going to go drive a tank. Can you actually do that? It just sort of sounds illegal. My friend is the Queen's Bugler. He actually is. I did his wedding in my tank limo. What is your tank for? limo? Um, I've cut two of these in half, joined them together, and I've made a tank limo. A pink tank? Yeah, you've got to have a pink tank. We did that for gay pride. Guy has about 150 tanks. This is a cool looking tank. This is the Monster Bentley, and it popped up on eBay. He probably has more tanks than an army. This is the tank hearse. Ridiculous. What, what is this? Is this a oh, missile? that's a missile I found. It's not live. No, no, it wouldn't be live. <laughs> Just so many things to be scared of. <laughs> Instead of people joining the army to drive a tank, you can just come and buy one off me, or you can come and drive one. Who'd you buy them off? No, the one around the corner, which we found the gold in, we got that off eBay. So you can just put, go tank on eBay? Just yeah, if you were military... What about this gold? <laughs> yeah, what, what, yeah, what happened yeah, what, to the gold? Have you been asleep for the last year and a half? We were restoring a tank around the corner, there was a hole in the bottom, and he puts his hand in and pulls out a gold bar. What? That's the one we found the gold in. There was this terrible rumour that we found more than five bars. Ha! Huh. How could anyone think such a thing? <laughs> no, 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 it's just a rumour. I was hoping to drive the biggest tank that they have. <laughs> well, the biggest one I've got at the moment is off the film Fast and Furious 6, and that is what we're using for crushing. Hell so all you've yeah. got to do is beat these two. Oh, so we're competing for who gets to drive. One perfect driver. I don't know who yet, I'm looking at those boots and they're almost riding boots. What do you think of my boots? Beautiful on the beach. I don't feel so intimidating. What's the weirdest thing you found in a tank? Apart from the gold. <laughs> the grenade launcher up from uh, M16s. They go Just to be clear, there's no grenades. Not that I know of. Drive aboard. Accelerator on the right foot, great big thing. And then on the left foot, you've got an ejector seat. What? Wait. <laughs> why are you, mate, why are you so calm about it? Well, it's just that you're not wearing parachutes, so you ought to be made aware of it. I was expecting something a little more modern, maybe a little cleaner. I'm slightly on edge that I'm going to step on a landmine or something. There's just so much to be scared of, mate. Who has that many tanks? He's got scary dogs. You've got a jet ski with a gun. It looks like there's like wasps nests in here too. Fuck off. <laughs> Driving a tank was actually on my bucket list too. I didn't know there was going to be a competition though. I've been in a car with Rich before. Safe to say I'm going to be better than him. I'm ready. And I'm going to beat these guys. Don't <laughs> pull her up here. That'd be lovely. Take it off the power. Wonderful. Now put the leaders back, put the buttons down. Well done. You tried to tell me to press the ejector seat. It's a little bit scary. I'm loving this. It's very. Oh, there's a lot of petrol. Is he revving it or something? <laughs> <laughs> so much shit. Fucking hell. Drive an attack! You can do with a windscreen. That's too deep. <laughs> My bum is just so clenched. These fumes can't be good. God, that is amazing. I'm not a good backseat driver. I really want a tank. I don't think you should ever have a tank. I knocked 30% off Emma's scores before we even started, but I wouldn't even let you wash my tank. <laughs> I Emma, thought we did all right. You've won, hands down. <laughs> 
got me in the face. So she gets yeah. to crush the car? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? It looked great. It's just a shame it's my car. I've ticked this off my bucket list. Apparently my fashion sense is very military, so I've got a lot of tank tops. Joke. That's it, is it? That's it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Do you want to know what we're doing? More than anything. Yes. A gyrocopter. No! Yeah, you don't know what that is. I have no idea. You've seen James Bond, like, James Bond, you only live twice. I can't say I have. There's a, a gyrocopter in it. A gyrocopter is like a little helicopter. It's just a chair in the sky. Do you have a seatbelt on? Probably. I'm not flying. You are. You've got to do it. No. Wow. So it's on your bucket list to die. Reporting live from the airfield from the movie Alien. No, it's actually James Bond. Fuck. You only live twice. Keeps talking about this James Bond movie. No so we, we've, we've seen it we've from 1966. We're, doing... we're about to take flight, except we were dropped at the wrong entrance. I feel like this was intentional sabotage <laughs> to try to not do this experience. I'm not doing it. Grow up, Joe. It. It's too windy. None. Let's get scared. What are you scared about? I'm scared of dying. <laughs> Come on, mate. Look how tiny that is. Excitement level, one to ten. No, it's just, I'm just shitting myself. Do a lot of flying at about 1,000 feet. That's high. I'm six feet. That's a lot of me. My name's Phil Harwood, and you're at the Gyrocopter Experience in York. We're going to go and fly and see what it's like from the air. I want you to think. A gyrocopter looks like a helicopter because it's got big spinny rotor blades. It actually flies like an aeroplane and it's got a built-in parachute mode. It's the best bit, it's all in one aircraft and that's what makes it safe and that's what makes it the best aircraft you can fly. I am excited. Yeah? <laughs> Windy, isn't it? One of the big advantages of a gyroplane over an aeroplane is we don't feel turbulence. This is the ultimate magic carpet. This is on my bucket list, and I saw it in a James Bond movie. You saw it in You Only Live Twice with little Nelly who went and fired all these missiles. I thought you Amazing. were making that up. No, this is genuinely. How far can you go on a gyroplane? We have taken off from here, and with two or three stops, we ended up in Germany. We use it as a form of transport. What happens if you like you want to go to Tesco? You take a car. Okay. Yeah. Emma, level of one to ten, excitement. Nine. I'm ten out of ten You're on 10 both. Joe. Bee just flew in my mouth. Fantastic. Well, I think this could genuinely qualify for the ultimate bucket list. There is no way that this could be cooler than driving a tank over a car. My bucket list one is better because you won't die. It keeps having to say it's safe, which means it's not safe. It looks like a toy. There's kids up there now. Kids don't have fear because they they're stupid. Um, I do. It's annoying they don't have the flamethrower and the rockets like he did. I think it belongs on the big list. Do you have a joke? Joke! I'm not in the mood for jokes. Tom Cruise didn't need someone to like put ah, his helmet on yeah. for him. One, two, three. I was all right, and then I watched him do it. I think I'm more nervous now. Oh. It's just the waiting, really. I liked it. My body like it. You get the farts on camera. I'm farting a lot. You definitely just farting. Because that you don't own that outfit. Other leg, other leg, other leg. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You don't like <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do the whole tour of your. I want to come down. It feels amazing, but I was ready to be on the ground. 
He's waving. He's happy. This is the best thing I've ever done. Oh my god, that is amazing. Let's go back up. It belongs on the ultimate list, right? Yeah. How are you going to top it? No, you have to tell us what we're doing. It looks like you're doing something really illegal. Well, we're going to do it. You have it, to wait. So... I'm going to take you back in time. What? Emma? Emma? Did you hear about the lumberjack pilot? He was like, dials, check. Switches, check. Shirt, check. Joke? He screamed like a baby. <laughs> we have to do a real thing. Yeah, I'm taking you back in time. <laughs> what are we doing right now? It's a secret. The list is full of stuff that's not real. Invent a new animal. That is possible. How are you going to do that, Joe? You get two animals. Yep. That haven't had Visit the moon Why? for a bit. Milk a cow? Yes. Why? This is the end of the episode, so it's got to be really good. Is it epic? Yes. Well, this is an epic finale. Stood in a field. He'll be here. Where are you? I'm waving my hand. Yeah, some people say I look like Nicolas Cage. Here it is. <laughs> You've oh got God. to be kidding me. Good to see you. How are you? Here he is. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a penny farthing. Or ordinary, because that was the actual name for it. This one here is rather big. This is 52.6 inches on the wheel. This would be made in about 1885. There's a clamp brake on the front here. Now, if you press too hard, you'll actually throw the bike Whoa. over the front. Do you remember press really hard? Press it. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a tyre. It's solid rubber. There's no air in there whatsoever. There's enough air in Joe's head. We don't need any in the tyres. Yeah, the... Was the back end of the 1800s. A lot of circus acts picked up the bike, and that's why now people sort of go... Level of excitement, Joe. Through the roof. Maybe we should get you a hat. I can't believe Joe actually pulled something off to the point that he was able to book it. They doubted me. They're not doubting me anymore. I'm more excited to sit to see him attempt to do it. I heard it's just like riding a bike. When I kick the bucket, that list will be complete. The list that's in the bucket, the bucket list will be complete. I made my point. It looks a bit like the top hat, but it's actually a helmet. Up. I'm on it! Good lad! I'm on it! Oh. Whoa! One, two, three, yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, Joe, come on. Beautiful dismount, sir. What's well, happened to your core strength? Oh. <laughs> I feel we conquered the training bikes, but I am very scared because that bike is like twice the size. I feel like I should have worn more appropriate shorts. I'm ready. <laughs> this is the bucket list moment. Oh, he's up. Oh. <laughs> it's really tight. I can't let go. Oh. <laughs> All right. She is very tall. Okay, I'm scared of oh. I'm scared of I'm scared of oh. I'm going back in time. Cross it off your list. Ride a penny farthing. <laughs> right next to ride an ostrich. You're not doing that. One day. Hey, guys, it's decide what's on the ultimate bucket list section. Tanks need to be on the ultimate bucket list. That is it. I crushed a car. It's tough, isn't it? I'd say the winner is the gyrocopter. I was so scared, and now I feel like I feel like I can fly an airplane. I'm not going to get into no. an airplane with you, ever. I was going to say penny farthing. I thought it was great, but now that you've chosen mine, I'm going to obviously get behind mine and say, yep, gyrocopter. Oh. Ultimate bucket list. Oh. Joe, each thing in one word. Tank. Manly. Gyrocopter. Beautiful. Penny farthing. Old. It's like us. Manly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Old. I'm not old. You are, you're older. Okay.